Good morning, family. It's Friday morning, and uh, we've been we've been focusing on prayer all week. And uh, I really pray that this has been a challenge for you. I pray that it's been beneficial for me. I know that in my in my own walk, um, I believe me and God have gotten closer together as I've uh, focused on just knowing Him, knowing Him as a as a holy God, knowing Him as a God that that has all power and a God that's been working not only to introduce himself to me through the scheme of redemption in Christ Jesus, but really introduce himself to me through other disciples that have acknowledged the redemptive power and plan of God. Jesus in Matthew chapter six is giving a model player prayer and it's not um, as we've studied, it is not a formula on what you say as much as it is an understanding of what you are dialoguing with the divine about. And we're in that part where he where he says uh, in verse number 10, we pray or may your will, uh, may your kingdom come, may your will be done. In other translations, we pray that you allow your reign uh, to come and that Everything on earth is according to the authority of what's going on in heaven. And we've spent some time all week looking at the the beauty of it, that we conscientiously ought to, ought to have the rule of God in our hearts. We ought to desire for it to come. We know that that rule is centered around Christ. He's the centerpiece. We know that that rule affects our character, and we know that that rule is the is the purpose or the momentum behind our commission. We ought to want others to be in that same that same relationship with God. <clears throat> Today I want to challenge you a little bit, a little bit further in a different way. You see, we know that God has all rule. His his power and his might are without question. They are undeniable, in fact. But what we need to remember about this God is that he's a relational God. And there are three things that I want to challenge you with as you pray today. That this relational God wants us to have all the benefits of heaven. You imagine that your father wants you to have all the benefits of heaven. He wants you every time you pray to have a powerful encounter with him. He wants the exchange of heaven's resources to come into uh, an economy with your earthly dwelling so that you affect change every time you go to God in prayer. But number one, although he rules, he won't force you to be a beneficiary of that power. God has all power and he, and he has dominion over every atom that's in this reality. But even though he has that power, he won't force you to be a beneficiary of that power. What you have to do in light of that is you have to submit to his dominion. Submission to his dominion is equal to you. You spend some time today when you get a chance to look at Philippians chapter two and consider the, the reality that Jesus um, humbled himself, the text says, and he and he became obedient. I believe submission is connected to humility. I believe submission is connected to the desire to or willingness to bow the knee to an authority that's greater than you to to come under another i think that's what what god expects for us or god wants for us to do he's not going to force you to do it but when you and i realize he really is the one with all authority then it ought to cause us it ought to move us to say you know what let me bow down and submit to him and when you do that then you become a beneficiary of the power of heaven so although he rules, he won't force you to. You and I have to submit to his dominion. But then number two in your prayer today, although he rules, he won't fix an issue that you keep blocking him on. Back to the first part, it's kind of like not having access, but in this case, he won't, he won't get involved in something that you keep blocking him out of. No, what, what you have to do is surrender to his decisions. Sur surrender is a little different than submission. Submission is coming under. Surrender is putting your hands up. Surrender is 
that mentality that says, you know what, I'm I'm just gonna put my hands up and I'm 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 gonna get out the way. I'm I'm hands off now. I'm I'm surrendering. I'm giving up. Submission coming under, but also give up. And when I surrender, I'm surrendering to His decision. And watch how important this is, God. Your decision in this matter, because you have rule, is the best decision. It may not be what I like, but because I'm under your authority, I submit to your dominion. And because I'm surrendering, I trust your decision. Whatever you choose in this moment, it's the best for me. That's rough, but that's the reason why we're calling them prayer challenges, right? So not only do I surrender or submit to his dominion, surrender to his decisions but you want to remember one other thing although he rules he won't finagle you into an eden-like relationship with him one that he's wanted from the beginning by the way god's not going to trick you into a relationship he's not going to manipulate you into a relationship no although he has that rule he won't finagle you into a relationship he, he you and i have to say i love you to god here I am to walk with you. I want you to direct me. You see how important that is? God wants us to love him back. He's, he's been demonstrating his love for us from the beginning. Everything about him is, an, is a manifestation or a message about love. And since you know that about God, love him back. Say it to him today. I challenge you. Say I love you in every part of what you do. Now, if you love him, then let him direct. Spend some time in Proverbs chapter three. Trust in the Lord with all your what? Heart, all your mind. Lean not on your own ways and all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Let him direct you. Now remember this today, as you bring an end to this week of study on verse number 10, we pray, Lord God, that your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Look at all these things that we've studied, but today, watch this challenge. The challenge is we know he has all rule, but he's not going to force you. He's not going to fix a situation that you keep blocking. He's not going to finagle you into a relationship. What we have to do, and, I'm, and your prayer today is pray that you submit to his dominion. Pray that you surrender to his his decisions. Pray that you say, I love you and you allow him to direct your path. And when we can practice doing that, when we can practice being a people who allow that kingdom rule to come in our heart, watch God move powerfully in your prayer life. Watch your peace change. Watch you not try to fight stuff that you know God's going to fix. I'm praying for you. I want you to pray for me. Let's watch God change us and change everything around us. God bless you. Great Friday. Go get it and watch God get glorified in your life.